And what's up, everybody? Welcome to Live on the Ave on LRTNAV.com. I'm your host, Chad, and I'm joined today by Jason. And we're going to run down all the news you may have missed for Wednesday, June 22nd, 2016. And we're going to open up with some God of War 4. I'm calling it God of War 4. I don't know why they're just calling it God of War news. But we got some God of War news, brand new news here for you guys. In a recent interview, um, they noted that it will not follow in Ascension's footsteps and have multiplayer, which I was thinking it was going to have multiplayer because it seemed like a huge thing mm. they were doing with Ascension. Like a big focus like was like going there. So I was expecting this one to have like a little bit. And and plus, like if you see the trend in games, it's like these like, like awesome adventures and then there's always the tacked on multiplayer. Gears that, of War, that's true. Uncharted's got it, Last of Us had it. Like you just assume that it's coming now dude and uh, to see that they're not having it was a good thing because i feel like maybe they're going to focus on the god of war game itself dude and not have to worry about all that other and other shit yeah dude, like i gonna... hate when they focus on stuff like uncharted's multiplayer like why did they even do that like is anybody playing it you probably can't even find a fucking match if you went on there right now right? Like, <laughs> dude, like, you're not going to <laughs> so yeah like don't do multiplayer i was hoping they wouldn't have multiplayer so that's amazing news to me Hell yeah, dude. And they also kind of touched on some of the story. It's taking place many years after the battles with Olympia, and the kid has no idea about his past, but he knows that he's a demigod. So I have a feeling that his past is going to come up, and the kid's going to get all... It's probably going to go like this, dude. The kid's going to get all sad and mopey because he finds out his dad murdered a shit ton of people yeah. or whatever. This guy's yeah. going to kidnap him. All right, baby Kratos is kidnapped. Dude, now Kratos has to go back to his roots. Then he has to explain to the kid that, you know, shit, dude, I'm sorry, but I was a badass back in the day. I still am, but I'm not doing it anymore. I'm good dad. And he's going to save the kid. End of story. Boom. And then continue on. They also noted that uh, Kratos will be in other games as well, so not just, like, this won't be his last romp, but... I mean, if your dad is walking around in full body paint, dude, with, like, these red tattoos all over his body, you just have to assume he's a badass, right? Yeah, you don't need him to be told. <laughs> yeah. It's such a weird thing. It's like, oh, yeah, clearly dad's gone through some shit. Yeah, you would think, dude. But maybe that's the tribe look, you know, dude. We don't know too much about the, you know, the Norse neighborhood. Dude, I'm, I'm looking tribe. at that kid. I'm looking at Kratos. Dude, I'm not even sure that's his kid. I know, dude. That's what I was thinking too. That's like a uh, adopted. He kid looks it. like a little runty to be Kratos' kid. I feel like he should be a little bit more. I don't know. A little more, I don't know. Uh, we'll find. A little out, more Kratos, see, dude. <clears throat> Give him a goatee. Call it done, dude. Um, so we got a sneak peek at uh, E3 of a game called Steep, which is an extreme sports game. And a game that I completely forgot about, dude, is just getting canceled. It just announced that it was canceled. Dude, 2014, the Burnout Developers Criterion announced uh, they were making an extreme sports game. I remember the trailer, too. Yeah, me, too. Like, dude, things flying over, like, sand dunes and, like, sky flying, dude. I was like, there's a uh, Humvee, parachute. Yeah, all sorts of crazy shit. Well, they canceled it. And they're shifting their focus onto Star Wars X-Wing VR missions. Wait, why? Well, I always get confused that, like, you got this much invested in a game where you put a trailer out, you're still working on it, and you just go ahead and just, eh, like, let's shift focus. Like, it just is so weird to me that they would do that after all the money invested, but maybe it was just, like, a lost cause. It wasn't turning out. But Yeah, you just have to look at it. You know, you put so much in. Are you going to get anything back, or is it, like, are you going to keep sinking money away? Like, or is this a mighty number nine? <laughs> at least you didn't put your own money into this investment. Yeah, no Or shit. EA is probably like, you know what? We invested all this money. They made some really cool tech. Maybe we can use some of this stuff for the Star Wars game. Maybe some of this vehicle stuff and this destruction and we'll play off in a fictional Star Wars world. That it could be possible. But it's good that they're focusing on this. I didn't even realize that it was these that were the dudes that were working on the Star Wars X-Wing VR stuff. So, um, yeah. So if you guys were excited about that from two, three years ago, two years ago, sorry, I'm sorry, dudes. guys. Heart's <laughs> broken, dude. Go go uh, ride your four-wheeler on your own. You can't do yeah, it in games anymore. Golf. But you'll get steep th at the end of this year. So, I mean, and that's an extreme sports game, dude. Just all winter. Yeah, Enjoy no it. No cars. Steep, yeah. steep, looks, steep was awesome. We played steep. It was awesome. Dude, well, yeah, we'll be talking about that on the block party today, guys. So make sure you stay tuned after this. Dude, 7 o'clock Central Time. We got the block party coming. And we're going to be recovering, uh, recovering, covering all the E3 stuff, dude. Um, also, we got Hotline Miami 2, dude, on a huge sale right now, 75% off, but that's not the big news. The level editor is out, and if you guys have played Hotline Miami, that shit can get crazy in there, dude. To make your own level is pretty awesome and pretty exciting, dude, and you can do story stuff with yeah. it, too. Yeah, being able to do Which is your probably the bigger key for me. You should be able to, it should be, I don't know, maybe you can make hours and have the game. That'd be pretty cool. Wait, what do we do? Just go around murdering people? Yeah, we murder all of our competitors. <laughs> We murder all the people that cancel the games we want to play. Like, yeah. What are you canceling for? 
I don't know. No. We don't have to murder people, right? We can just well, like hang out with them. It's a murder game. Damn you know, but I mean, you... you can build your own story. So maybe our version of Hotline Miami 2 is just us hanging out with people. We give everyone chickens. There we you just go. Give... It's a it's a fucking chicken raising simulator. <laughs> and then Sweeter comes along with his shotgun and kills all of them. Yeah. See, and it's all it all goes back to kill. It's out Good of control. Job. But yeah, if you if you guys haven't checked it out, dude, it's a lot of fun, man. Seventy five percent off right now, and this, you know, and you can get your own level editor. You can make something crazy in it. You can make a level that you can actually beat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Might be no something. joke, right? I, I just talked about it just a few moments ago, but Mighty Number no. Nine is officially on the Xbox three sixty for you guys. If Whoa, you want it, one day delay. Yay, dude! You got the Xbox. Go ahead and play it, dude. There's also been some uh, news as well pertaining to this whole thing, dude. And this is the last I'll probably talk about it because I'm. I'm done, but I'm making you talk about it tonight. There's, there's, you know, there's talks that you know we we found out that you know, uh, Inafune was not the creator of Mega Man. We talked about that, and he's also taking ownership, which is nice, of the complete failure that Mighty Number no. Nine might have been. So he's taking ownership on it, which is which is good to hear. You know that he's not just you know passing it along to somebody else, but uh, yeah, yeah maybe you should have fucking owned up. Like he knew this game was garbage before it released, and he was still selling it. That's point blank, that's, dude. That 2013 video they had on their YouTube page that showed off the exact same assets that are in the game three years later. I like the video that I sent I you. Actually, was, looked better. Remember the the Unreal video that they were just like, "This we did this in like four hours or something," and yeah, it just looks yeah, like a yeah. million times better than this game that they've been working on for three years, dude. Out of control, man. Don't don't spend your money on it, dude. My code did work though yesterday, guys. So oh, I'm not sure if you saw my tweet, that's a but shame. yeah. My code, I know. It was it was a big shame. I was hoping I could get a refund, but I accidentally put the code in. I accidentally clicked confirm. I accidentally played it. I was accidentally. And you accidentally loved it. I know. That will never happen. Um, but speaking of game I do love, dude, we got some news on here about Shovel Knight, dude. 2014 Indie Game of the Year for AlexNav.com uh, is coming out with Specter Knight campaign, potentially coming out this October. They didn't get a, a date set in stone, but if you think about it, last, I think it was September, we got Plague Knight. So this would be right around the time that they yep. would do, looking at about one year. It cost them a million dollars, dude, to create Plague Knight content. They're doing this again. I'm assuming that it's probably going to be less because maybe they understand it a little bit better. It could be mm -hmm. cheaper, but probably somewhere around 500000 easily. And it's coming out for free. If you don't own Shovel Knight yet, dude, get it. You get Plague Knight and you get Specter Knight campaigns for free, dude. And they're going to be adding in uh, another mode, dude, either a battle mode or a body swap mode as free. Just like they did with like the multiplayer thing that you got with Shovel Knight, dude. The the amiibo gave you multiplayer. They added challenge mode in before, dude. These guys are probably like developers of the year in my eyes sometimes. Well, dude, these are because, all like, part of their stretch goals. For, uh, yeah, but it, I mean, though, so they they have the to that, do it. The people that didn't know what I'm saying is the people that didn't invest. Oh yeah, buy yeah, the game yeah, yeah. They get it for free. Like True. that's awesome. They're yeah, not charging awesome. anyone extra. Well, they're not really it. for free, right? Because like people already paid to help people them develop did. this. I'm saying if you go out and buy it for 20 bucks right now, you didn't pay them any extra for this content. You just paid for the regular game. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like which when was it supposed came out, to be the full game was supposed to have this in there. I'm just saying. I'm playing yeah. devil's advocate, dude. They put yeah. they put themselves in the corner, and this like they have to have worked on this for three years because of all this extra content they put in their Kickstarter goals. Should have just done T-shirts. No, no shit or stickers dude stickers or stickers man <laughs> stickers are where it's at man but yeah like, it's amazing it's awesome it's cool it's, i know because it's like every year i get more dude it came out in 2014 every year we get something else for it you're you know? never getting it's shovel like, knight too the main shovel knight game was already long enough and like a solid solo game and like if you beat that don't expect too much extra stuff because it's just like story stuff and like mm -hmm. a new character to play as it's not like tons of new maps or anything yeah. like that but it's still fucking awesome. Just and wait uh, till you get your mighty of, number nine uh, DLC every single year. Oh my, dude! They gave me the DLC and I played it. It was an extra stage that we got because we were backers. Oh, fucking for real? Awful. It was an awful stage. Oh man, awful maybe stage. that'll have to be on the. I beat it on my first try, and like it wasn't even a challenge. It was just ugh. Anyway, right. sorry, dude. sorry, sorry. But we're talking about uh, Shovel Knight, we're talking about Mighty Number no. 9, and we also talked about Hotline Miami 2. All games you can get on Steam, and Steam is starting their summer sale uh, tomorrow, and it goes until July 4th, so make sure you guys check it out, dude. I'm sure Jason's going to have a bunch of games that you should buy, either on the block party tonight or throughout the week. He'll have some updates for you guys on stuff you should check out, dude, that's going on, because we'll be talking about it in the news. So Steam summer sale is always a huge thing around here. Yeah, we always we get love excited it. For it. And they got a little mini game, probably some questing and going on and shit. But, um, let's, dude. This is some cool news, so we're going to wrap it up here, guys, with one more thing about the Power Rangers movie that's coming out on March 24th, 2017. Brian Cranston, you guys know him as the 
the drug lord, the drug kingpin dude. But uh, Brian Cranston is going to be playing Zordon in the Power Rangers movie, which, like, at first, like, when you read that sentence or say that sentence, you're like, what the fuck? But then yeah, you think about that? it, and you like look at his picture in the photo that they showed, and you're like, I can see that as a Zordon. Dude, it's a Zordon head. It makes it's sense. It's a Zordon head. Yeah. He also, just dude, a head. did you know, like, I didn't know this either until, you know, this all started coming out, but he was already part of the Power Rangers world, voicing Snizzard. It's like a walking snake dude with a bow, and I remembered it once I saw it again. Like, I remembered it, and he, like, shoots snakes out of his mouth, and he's got a bow and arrow. No. So, so freaking crazy. I didn't, I did not know That's that weird. he did the and they loved him on the set, supposedly. They loved him on the set so much that the Blue Ranger's last name is Cranston. Interesting. There's a little there you hot go, fact dude. for you, kids. So there was, like, almost no reason for him not to be in this movie, dude. Like, and if yeah. he was, he could either voice uh, the robot or Zordon. And, I mean, let's get him Zordon, dude. Yeah, I forgot absolutely. the robot's name, dude. I feel bad about that. I get a lot that's of hate awesome. for that one. <laughs> dude, I think that's some, some crazy news, dude. Well, that wraps up the news for today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure you stick around. Stay tuned. We got the block party up next um, on twitch.tv backslash Alertonav. And if you guys miss anything, check out our YouTube channel at backslash Alertonav live, dude. We have tons of content for you guys. Stay tuned. Thank you, Jason, for joining me. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, 5 o'clock Central. Peace out.